Hi there, welcome to Card Cutters, the show that's about watching all the TV you want without paying for an expensive pay TV subscription. And on this episode, we're going to take a look at the Orb BR. It's actually this plastic disc, a Blu-ray disc. It's going to cost you 20 bucks, and then you put it into your PS3 or your Blu-ray player. And it's going to give you free Hulu content. It's going to give you Netflix content, ESPN3 content, and a whole bunch of other stuff straight on your TV. So we're going to demonstrate this today with the PS3 and what you need is PS3 Blu-ray player, this disc, 20 bucks, and then you need to install software on your computer because essentially this streams content from your computer, uses it as a transmitter so to say, and then you need an application on your iPhone or on your Android phone or iPod Touch to control the whole thing. Let's put this in here and see how it looks like. So you put it into your PS3 like you would with a regular game or with a Blu-ray uh, disc and then it's loading up and there we go it already starts up and on my phone I'm just going to access the controller here I have an iPod touch here but you can also use an Android phone and you uh, start this essentially remote control application for the R player and then here it connects to the device right away and then it offers me various types of content and as a cord cutter of course I'm interested in video so I select this right here yeah. There we go. And now I can play local content from my computer. So in this case, I have a couple of, apparently I am touchscreen challenged, but I have a couple of older Cord Cutters episodes here. So why don't we look at one? Now this is streaming. It's a local file on my computer. The Orb Media server software now transcodes it for the right device, the right bitrate, everything, streams it over my local network, and it's loading up here and it's playing now from the PS3 stuff from my computer. And as you can see, it looks pretty good for a local file. Uh, and it's, it's a fairly easy way to kind of access your media library. You can also access audio files or pictures, anything you want. But of course, what you're really interested in when you want to cut the cord is all that TV goodness, all that network, the broadcast content. So let's take a look at that. Um, while this is still playing, I can already look at what I want to watch next. And I'm going to go to TV shows. And what they have done here is they have taken multiple sources. They have taken Hulu and a couple of other websites that they access, YouTube, Miller Cafe, uh, and uh, kind of index that by show. And so if we go to 30 Rock, for example, then uh, season five is available here to me. I have to clean this iPod for some reason. It doesn't really like me today. But I can now play uh, episode 24. I say play now. And now it's loading up again. And again, just to explain how this works, my computer is essentially accessing, in this case, I think it's going to be hulu.com or nbc.com, you have to see, and streaming the content from there. And then the Orb Media server is transcoding all this stuff, putting it in the right format and streaming it to the uh, PS3. And in some cases that works really well, buffering it up in this case. Oh, there we go. It's loading up. It takes a little bit of time, and that depends also a little bit on your home network. It works better when you have your uh, play, uh, game console plugged in wired as opposed to wireless, and the same goes for the computer. Now it's loading up here, uh, and there you can see the familiar Hulu loading logo, and there we go, NBC. And then you're going to see an episode of 30 Rock, and you haven't paid for Hulu Plus. You're watching it for free through the software. Um, well, in this case, we have to sit through commercial first, but you get off, you get how it's going to look like. Um, now, just to go back to the to the um, uh, remote control software here, really quick, while we're watching this commercial, uh, you can also kind of manage your queues. If you want to watch something else after this, you can already queue it up. You can browse a little more through this content. You can actually select by service and you see here is daily motion ESPN3 so you could also watch live ESPN3 games here and um, you can even add additional services and then um, for example if you have subscribed to Netflix you could add this to this as well now you're going to say well I can already watch Netflix on my PS3 why would I go through this whole mess of transcoding it and isn't it going to look worse afterwards Yes, it is, but their argument is you're going to have all your shows in one place and you're not going to have to wonder anymore if something is on Hulu 
or on Netflix, you just browse on your iPod, you're going to just press start play and it's going to start playing. And now if you look at the video here, you're going to see it isn't quite HD, it looks a little bit fuzzy and that depends a little bit on a couple of things. First of all, your network, as I said, then there's also the transcoding going on and that degrades the quality already a little bit as well. And finally, of course, it depends on the source material. And what I've noticed as well is I've seen this demoed on a PC and the picture was very good. I have a Mac running and sometimes it's a little jittery. It's sometimes it's a little stuttering and things like that. And it seems to have a little harder time to deal with these flash streams. Um, so if you're a PC user, you might have a little bit of a little bit better luck with this. But I think it's fairly good. It, it, it looks fairly good. And uh, I can pause this at any time. I can rewind in this content. Uh, should be able to rewind anyway. Basically, all kinds of functionality that you're used to from accessing stuff through your computer is now available on your TV. So if you want to have my opinion on this, personally, I don't even have a Blu-ray player and I don't have a PS3, so I'm not going to buy this thing. And there's also a couple other downsides, of course. The quality, as I said before, isn't always as great. And sometimes it might be a little bit of a hassle that you also have to connect your computer all the time to your network. But, you know, if you are a PS3 user, if you're a heavy gamer, if you have a Blu-ray player connected to your TV but nothing else, and you really want to watch that Hulu content on your TV without paying for it, then it's only 20 bucks. So what do you really have to lose? I think it would be a great investment for you. So if you own a PS3 or if you own a Blu-ray player and you watch a lot of video with that online, uh, tell us about it, what you like about it, what you don't. Or maybe you're one of those people who uses other video server, uh, media server software rather. Something like Twonky, something like Plex, something like Playon. We'd love to hear from you and see what you like about it, what you don't. Uh, send us all your comments, all your thoughts about it to cordcutters at googaum.com. You can also get in touch with us on Twitter. We are at cordcutters. And finally, of course, we have our website at gigaum.com slash cordcutters. And we're going to have all the show notes to this episode there. We're going to have previous episodes there. In the future, we're going to update the page with more episodes, with more great devices that we're going to test. So check back and let's cut some cords together.